The mother of Trayvon Martin spoke at a conference today in Louisville. She said she's seen the change that's happened nationally after her 17-year-old son was shot and killed by a neighborhood watch member in Florida in 2012. She sat down with WHS 11's Renee Murphy and says there's still work to be done. Sabrina Fulton brings her message to Louisville. I want to make sure that we are strengthening our communities and strengthening our families. She says she's ready to have the tough and sometimes uncomfortable conversations to make sure that cities are moving in the right direction. I certainly believe that uh, some eyes were open with um, my son's uh, tragedy. Fulton's son, 17-year-old Trayvon Martin, was killed in 2012 in Sanford, Florida. Neighborhood watch member George Zimmerman shot Martin in what he said was self-defense. Zimmerman ultimately went on trial for Martin's death, but was found not guilty. The case ignited a conversation about race and law enforcement across the country and was one of the catalysts for the Black Lives Matter movement. I just think that our young people uh, are going to be the change that we need. We need to make some type of positive change, and I think it's our young people that is gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna do it for us. What do we want? Gun control. What do we want now? Young people, students are mobilizing right now for tougher gun laws after the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Fulton says kids should feel safe no matter where they are. I think that there needs to be more gun control. I don't think the answer is um, arming everybody with guns. Fulton has played a role in advocacy since Martin's death, starting the Trayvon Martin Foundation to end gun violence and strengthen families. Me as a, a, as a parent, I still have to fight. You know, I have to fight for my son that's in heaven. I have to fight for my son that's here on earth. That's why she came to Louisville to tell her story that she hopes will end in a life being saved. Renee Murphy, WHAS 11 News. Sabrina Fulton says now is the time for families to unite and support one another.